Our next guest is a well-known astrologer who goes beyond the stars and incorporates ancient, ancient mythology and Kabbalah to help us fine-tune our soul's calling and our destiny. Please welcome Gal Sasson. Hello. Hello. Very happy to be in the old city of Jaffa. Astrology is considered to be the mother of science because first was astrology, then came astronomy. So only 400 years ago, approximately, astronomy broke away from astrology. So first, astrology is basically, you take astronomy and you take psychology and you mix it together, that's what astrology is. I don't know if I call it a science because you cannot scientifically prove it, but I think it's an art form. It's mm -hmm. a poem that describes life. It doesn't influence life. It's not because Mercury right, right now is retrograde, I'm making a lot of mistakes or I'm not coming here on time. It's, because, it's, it's more like a correlation, like right. Hume talked about it a lot. There is no cause and effect, but because, not because, but while we are making mistakes, Mercury is retrograde. Right. It could be that Mercury retrograde is because of our mistakes. You know what I mean? So what we talk about astrology nowadays is more about synchronicities, coincidences. And what astrology does is give you a to know what is happening so you can decide right. what's going to happen. You see Why I really love studying different type of mythologies because what I see is that it's the same story again and again and again in a different disguise. That's what Joseph Campbell talked about as the monomyth. Mm -hmm. Monomyth may be just one myth, the oneness. Like Moses said, Shema Yisrael Adonai Elohim Adonai Had. It's oneness. It's not that Israel is special, it's that everything is part of this oneness. What you see in Israel is that all the homo sapiens sapiens that had to leave Africa, 100,000 years ago, so mm -hmm. they had to go through here. They had to pass through Israel. Israel is a, or where the land of Israel today is a junction between Africa, the source of everything, Asia and Europe. And even the New World, they had, the people had to go through Israel to get to Central uh, Asia and then walk after, uh, through the Bering Straits to get to the United States. Even the people that live in, Austra in Australia had to go through Israel to get to Asia and to So walk. what does that mean? Like what does that, that mean? What to walk through here that everybody's from here. Mm. That the only way for people to get out of Africa to other places is to go through what we experience here. And this land, I believe, is a land that generates stories. That's right. why the Bible could influence the New Testament and the Quran and even a Western civilization. What does that Four mean? For thousands of years, people were talking about when the age of Aquarius comes, which happens every 26,000 years, mm -hmm. there's gonna be a shift because it's one, the only sign that is actually the symbol of the sign is a human being. So what we're saying is that if we all connect to our humanity as a country, as a family, as a person, if we all connect to those values, then we will get to the next stage. And the next stage is not that the Messiah will come and touch us all and we're going to get enlightened. I feel that what they say, Messiah in Kabbalah at least, it's a state or it's a, it's a spiritual uh, existence. It's almost like enlightenment but in a global level. Right. So Messiah is not a person that's going to come here. It's a state of mind. It's a spiritual state of mind. It's a nirvana. So when all of us, and I feel that, you know, the Tibetans talk about it a lot, that if for one millisecond, everybody on this planet will feel unconditional love, there will be the Messiah. Right. We will all attain enlightenment. I'm not going to blow myself up because you're not a Muslim, because I appreciate you and I, I love you unconditionally even right. if you're not Muslim. I will not judge you because you love somebody and it's the, in the New Testament you said you can't love me. I will just love everybody and at that moment the Messiah will be. Thank you. All right, from your, your lips to the oneness of uh, source, lights, ears. Thank you, Gal. We'll be right back after the break.